Gospel Diaries Episode 25 Loretta Oliver Okay, what's going on, Gospel Diaries? I'm so, let me take this scarf off. <laughs> it's, it's not that cold outside. Oh, okay. I don't know. I've been out there, but I went out with a coat. <laughs> oh, okay. So, I, of course, you've seen her. I'm with the also lovely Sister Loretta Oliver. How are you doing? I'm very well, and you? I'm doing good. Listen, your voice, you have a very authoritative voice. Oh, okay. Okay, Thank you. and uh, you, when you sing, we know you mean what you sing about. Well, hey. <laughs> you do mean what you sing about, uh, don't you? You, you better know it. <laughs> I've come this far. I got to know what I'm singing about. Okay. There ain't no time to play now. <laughs> time to stay. Come on. So, look. So, of course, we're going to talk about the Dunkineers, and mm -hmm. we're going to talk about your wonderful music career. But before that, let's get the preliminaries out of the way. Okay. So, let's talk about your humble beginnings. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, we lived together, of course, until we all got grown, when they started spreading out, moving mm -hmm. on. And uh, every year we have Thanksgiving dinner together. Every year. Every year. And, and, we went, when we had dinner at home, mm -hmm. after the dinner, then we went to everybody else's. Mm -hmm. You know, we just had a little dab here and a little dab there. But, you know, that was my mom's thing. It was okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, we loved it. So, I mean, we were kids, and so oh, cool. we've always had a good time. It was persistent. My mother and father sang. Mm -hmm. But they were persistent that we sang. And they used to put us on the table mm -hmm. because we were little. Mm -hmm. And we sang put us on the tabletop so the people could see us. We went up in the pool up there and we sang. Wow. But Vernon was the oldest one, but the other two, I never knew them mm -hmm. and they didn't live like, okay. And, but then the eight of us, mm -hmm. we were there. Wow. Mm -hmm. And you, you were raised at Robert's Temple? I, I was I was a church member. <laughs> I was not raised okay. at Robert's Temple. What, but okay, so what was the first church before Robert's Temple? Was that was it. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's okay. the first church, but you say raised. Okay, okay. But I wasn't raised there. Oh, so you went to another church. No, 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 no. Oh, you was raised at home. Uh, yeah. Mom, mama raised you. you <laughs> mama and daddy raised you. There you go. Mama and daddy. <laughs> that's Mostly what, mama, because mom was home with us. That's what's wrong today. Parents are not raising their children, huh? True. I got, that's what I got. <laughs> Okay. He, oh, I, that's what I have. I mean, I'm saying the wrong thing. But okay. I, mean, I forgot you were recording. <laughs> However, I, I'm I'm having issues. Okay. I take a school. Mm -hmm. I religiously, because mm -hmm. I wanted to get there, mm -hmm. and I work for the Board of Education, and I know the seriousness of getting an education, mm -hmm. and I'm 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 dealing with that because every day, every day God mm -hmm. sends. She's late. Uh oh. Every day. And she doesn't have to do anything but get up. Actually, she should get up and wake me up, but she doesn't. Mm -hmm. I get up, I get dressed, and I wake her up because I know she's not going to get up when I'm up. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I'm going to do that, but I never had any children. Mm -hmm. So I'm just doing a job. Mm -hmm. I believe that the Lord blessed me to do it. I know it did because mm -hmm. if he didn't, I wouldn't go this far. And, and you do find joy in it, right? I, I, definitely. I love people. Mm -hmm. So that's my thing, you know. Oh. I, I, I was raised up with, it was 10 kids, mm -hmm. well, actually eight of us, because mm -hmm. the two, one was born, stillborn, and one died in a month. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know them. Mm -hmm. They were before I got here. Oh, but okay. Mother Price was the first one. Mm -hmm. And those two came in between. And then it was a brother, another brother, and then me. I'm number five. Okay. Wow. Well, listen, you all, parents raise your children, okay? Right. <laughs> Ray, don't let the streets raise them. <laughs> That's the worst thing. <laughs> you know, okay, we're going to get back on course. Okay. okay. So Robert's Temple. Okay, it's growing the, up. The basic church. That's where Robert. we 
grew up. We Let's, didn't, we weren't raised, like I said, mm -hmm. in the church, mm -hmm. but yes, that's where we grew up at Robert's Temple. So all talk about that experience of being at Robert's Temple in your childhood. Well, I was a kid. It was okay with me. Wherever okay. my mom said we went, we went, and we did. Mm -hmm. We didn't have no problem. And who was the pastor there? Uh, Bishop Roberts. Uh -huh. Yeah, they, they sang the songs in the book, and mm -hmm. you know they didn't use a book, mm -hmm. but they sang hymns and regular songs and ones that get you going and jumping and shouting. And <laughs> oh, everything. so you all were shouting at Roberts Temple? Oh, for sure, <laughs> we were too. Uh, and who do you remember the musicians too? Yeah, the pastor's uh, sister. What was Naomi Roberts? Oh. Naomi Robert was. Oh yeah, because she actually um, she recorded with the choir in the early years. But mm -hmm. yeah, she was very musical. Mm -hmm. and Naomi, yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. All right, so we're here. Uh, I just wanted to do one segment to introduce this lovely living legend. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> it was one step closer. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesse Dixon, Jesse Dixon. I sang with them too. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I sing with him and I sing with Fellowship Choir. Sing with mm -hmm. Oh, you know people, huh? <laughs> I, I love uh, the St. Luke Youth Choir. I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. <laughs> is this a, that one? No, this is not that one. This is probably the earliest This is a youth one. choir, yeah. I had two. No, that says... Uh, that's oh, faith, this one says Faith Tabernacle. Okay. Yeah. Uh -uh. I think those are the white people. <laughs> the white peoples. Oh, Pentecostal choir, is that? No, Pentecostal. It's Pentecost, Pentecost at any cost. At any cost. Uh, 65th Annual Holy Convocation Day. Oh, yeah, Convocation. Okay. But that can't be closed, is it? Yeah. 65th? Mm -hmm. Church of God and Christ. Oh, yeah, 1970. What did it say, 72? 72? Yeah, 72. Okay. You know, we weren't always doing records. Mm -hmm. Records, we came up way behind. Oh, Happy Day. Huh? That's Oh, Happy Day. That's before the Evan Hawkins singers. Yeah. These are probably all special people. <laughs> oh, look. Ruben Life. Mm -hmm. Ruben Life. The Caravans. Oh, of course. <laughs> They were in. Yeah. The Trap Rare Community Park. Mm -hmm. can, can I see that? We were, uh, I guess you would say, in competition. The Treadwells and the Thompson, the Thompson Community. Community Singers. Oh, Alex Braffer. <laughs> I've been around. Alex Braffer. Yep. I have that record. How is it you I say? have it. Oh, okay. Yeah. My God there did a song on that one. That's Blair. Yeah, oh, that's, can I see? That's Robert Blair? Edmund. A yeah, Edmund. Edmund. Uh, from Edmund from, uh, what, Omega, right? Mm -hmm. Right. That's where Jesse Dixon started out in Chicago. Oh. This is Michigan, Maddie Moss. Oh. Jesse Jackson. I've been Operation Push. I was there when they started. <laughs> I was a bread basket, then they got to be push. Oh, wow. uh oh, you got more? <laughs> of course. Okay. <laughs> I got, this whole thing is filled. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's why I said it'd probably be 2 o'clock before you find what you're looking for. Because <laughs> I don't know where they are. Uh -huh. I just put them in here. Oh, wow. Clay Evans. Uh, this you? No. Oh no. <laughs> this is Get Up My Brother, Shirley Caesar. Oh, wow. <laughs> I thought that might have been one. This Chef C. Bennett. Bennett. I never heard him. Look at the caravan. Mm hmm. They were famous. Uh, let's see. Shirley Caesar, Inez. I uh, forgot what her uh, name was. Is that just. No, that's John, uh, John Aaron, right? Who? John Aaron Davis? I don't know. And that's Dolores, mm -hmm. Albertina, and Eddie Williams. Right. I don't know what that's her John name Aaron, is. That's Sean right? I think it is. I, at the time, I knew her, but yeah, she been gone so long, I don't Ooh, know. Oh, look at Beverly Glenn. Beverly was hooked up with Kojic. I was just uh, with her. I went to Detroit to sit with her. Did you? Yeah, I just left her not too long ago. She's still living, huh? Yes, 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 yes. 
Sister Beverly Glenn, she oh, wrote, I'll say yes to my Lord. Oh, okay. Reverend Maceo Woods. Yep. And he played for us after right. the first musician died. So, so tell me about that. Eddie Robinson? Right, because he, was, he wasn't, that's not. He's that not word. the original. He's not. Bobby word. Bolden was the, the initial. That's why I, you said Alva Lou's sister. Mm -hmm. Bobby Bolden played for us. So did, did he die? Yeah. He died in the car accident? Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, okay, okay. No, now, I she, think he, he died from. Uh, okay, I okay. Think, okay. okay, so he wasn't. Um, he wasn't living in. I mean, he lived. He's in, from Detroit. Well, he's from Detroit, right? Mm -hmm. Because I got him. Mixed he up came with, with the second group of. Okay. Duncan Ayers. That's what happened. Wow. Well, he I got to meet him, but he, he uh, signed it to you. Uh, to Loretta, it's been a great pleasure showing you. Singing Sammy Lewis, I got oh, everybody. Wow. I never seen a picture of him. You haven't? No, Reverend um, 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 Barry Hill, Ray Barry Hill, he used to play at the church. Oh, did he? Yeah, he played it. All right, so we're back, and we were just chatting. I'm just enjoying myself. So we want to talk about the famous Duncan Mears. And from my understanding, they were organized 1952 Easter su Sunday at Robert's Temple. Yeah, it's at Robert's Temple. And uh, the founder... Ava, Lou, Alva. Al He blew into his nostrils the breath of life. He became so a little bit about the beginning of the Buccaneers. Well, of course, we rehearsed at church. We we got together, and just, just like kids of today, mm -hmm. they get themselves together, and then they say, "Okay, we gonna sing," and then they get out and sing, and then once they sing. Then somebody else want to hear them again, and then they marginate from there. Really? Yeah. Wow. That, I mean, that's how they grow. Mm -hmm. That's how you go. Mm -hmm. Car accident, and she passed. There away. was a car accident, okay. but we were all on the road. You was in the car accident. I wasn't in that oh, one. Okay, okay, okay. Thank God. <laughs> okay. No, we were all in cars. My father mm -hmm. was over the youth, mm -hmm. and he had his own little choir. Okay. And we would go from there. We went to. Uh, it, it, he he was the uh, president of the YPWW, okay. and uh, every every summer mm -hmm. we would go to Milwaukee or we would go to Indiana. So that's where the the three places were, mm -hmm. and we were going to St. Louis when that accident happened. Wow, and you remember it, huh? Well, you <laughs> yeah, remember the story. I remember the story. We, we were we were. And was I back home when it happened? Or it didn't happen on the way. I don't remember which way. But she got killed in a car accident, and, and we were all in cars. Wow. Wow. And uh, I'm under the impression that Bishop Timmons got kind of hurt in that He's accident. what? He got kind of hurt in that accident. Oh, no. I don't think so. Okay. Okay. I don't remember that. Okay. But I mean, and like I said, mm -hmm. I was in the Duncan Airs from okay. the get go. Mm -hmm. Claude wasn't from mm -hmm. the beginning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He was a come Johnny come late. Mm -hmm. But no, we were just kids and we just decided we were going to sing together. Okay. And then I guess somebody heard us and then they let us sing. Okay. okay. I, I don't remember all of that. But <laughs> so, we were kids and, you know, like kids be doing stuff and then if somebody hear you, then they'll put you up. They mm -hmm. want, you know, Put mm -hmm. you on the front. Well, mm -hmm. that's how we got started. Wow. So let's talk about the recording of the Duncan Mirrors. Uh, do you remember going into the studio with the Duncan Mirrors? Once. Once. Okay, so tell us about that experience. We did. <laughs> Was that the one we did, One Step Closer? I don't know. I got it in the cabinet there. Mm -hmm. You should have told me to pull that out. I would have pulled it out. Well, I had it out. In the cabinet there. What, the album? Yeah. Uh-oh. 
We'll be back, Gospel Diaries. <laughs> All right, Gospel Diaries, we are back. And now we're going to talk about uh, Sister Loretta and Fellowship and the Thompson Community Singers. But right before we talk about the Thompson Community Singers, we have found one of the one Duncan with the Dun with into the studio with the Duncan Ears. All I can one remember is we were in the studio and it was crowded. Crowded? <laughs> Yeah, it was little. You know, it was years ago. Of course, you know, they didn't have big stuff like they have mm -hmm. now. Yeah. Did anybody catch the spirit in the studio? No. 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 Really? no. So you all had to go in and be professional, huh? We were. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. So let's talk about fellowship. So when did you, what led you to fellowship? Well, me, myself, and okay. I. Okay. I was grown and okay. I decided Bishop Ford was talking about the times of community singers every day, and I thought, okay, I'm just tired of this. Wait, what, what you mean? Oh, he didn't want you to be with the Thompson Community Singers? Bishop Ford? Oh, right, he was kind of... I was with him. I mean, I was with the Thompson Community Singers, and I was with Jesse Dixon. And he was, every, it seemed like to me every Sunday, he was preaching about me. Oh, you see? And my groups. And I'm the sorry. <laughs> and so I just felt like, I don't want to belong here. Why am I here? And I told my mom, Bishop Ford is preaching about me every Sunday. Mm -hmm. I, you know, why? Mm -hmm. And then the rest is history. I yeah. just decided to move on. So when you got the fellowship, how was that experience for you? They welcomed me. Really? Of course. I was traveling with them before I joined. Really? <laughs> yeah, because they wanted me to go out of town with them, and I, I went many places with them. Mm -hmm. But then after I was with them, I was definitely with them. They went to somewhere. I went to Spain or somewhere, and my sister went because I wasn't going to fly. Fellowship? They went somewhere, oh, and so my sister went with them. So Sister Vernon, she has ties with Fellowship, too, huh? She wasn't a member there. But she still has ties. But she ties. went with them, okay. yeah. Well, that's how they got me. Oh, okay. I mean, Reverend Evans was very well known. Mm -hmm. Him, Bishop Ford, uh, where you went yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 Clark Road. No, 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 no. Oh, first church. First, first church, church okay. the pastor there. They, it was three or four people. It was a group of them. They were in a clique. Mm -hmm. They ran the city. Wow. Right. So they, all they had to do was say they wanted this, and they go, Mayor Daly. They worked it out. Oh, wow. They were in cahoots with Mayor Daly. Mm -hmm. so that how, is what they called it, but they uh, had a connection. How did you keep your schedule intact from um, the Jesse Dixon singers, the Thompson Community singers, and fellowship? Like, how did you... Keep that in I never did worry because if it was somewhere to go, they were ready. They they call me. I mean, I got where Jesse Dixon singer was away. I decided I can't drive. I get in the car and they go to sleep. I was through. Oh, so you took road trips with Jesse Dixon? Yes. So who normally drove? Who was the driver? All of us. Everybody that could drive. Now who was the Jesse least... was sitting back riding. Who was the least favorite? Like who didn't you? Who you did not want to drive? Me. <laughs> Me. That's for a moment. I, I think I was speaking with. I think it was Elsa Harris. She told me that one Sunday, she was with uh, with Reverend Blair and Jesse Dixon had called her up there to the organ. I said, oh, just play for me for a little while. I just need to go use the restroom. <laughs> she said, she said, the next thing she knew, she said, Jesse Dixon was out of the state. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but what happened? Because he, what he did was he let her play in her in his stead, mm -hmm. and she didn't know that he was doing that. Mm -hmm. She was she was comical about it. She was just like she had to learn mm -hmm. how to be ready, and then you know she so, was yeah. She came from over here, <laughs> sang, and I sang. Mm -hmm. And, you know, everybody else was gone. Mm -hmm. And if they wasn't there, it was all quiet. Mm -hmm. I was singing so much that, I, you know, people thought it was my, I was the only <laughs> singer. It was Ann Bowden, me, Jess, Jesse was there, and uh, Brunson, of course, and Clifford Bailey, he passed. But then I was like, it seemed like every time we went somewhere, I was the one singing. Mm -hmm. Wow. So I didn't have no problem. Wow. I guess that's where I started singing. Because mm -hmm. my sister said. I'll, yeah, I know. She told me that she said that she didn't like to sing with you. She said that you didn't like to open your mouth, right? Well, you know what? When you're children, mm -hmm. you're singing for the people. You're not singing for what you know right. and what you're living. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, I was just in that group, and then they, I guess she wanted me to do whatever. But you open your mouth and sing now, because you don't well, have some experience. I have experience now. Yeah. I know what I'm talking about. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Please. <laughs> now, we're jumping all over the place, but I want to talk about your relationship with Reverend Milton Bronson and Clay Evans. So we can start first with Reverend Milton Bronson. So well, he about was before Reverend Evans. Oh, he was? Oh, yeah, because absolutely. I, I, yeah. Think, I think I was in the Tommies real early. I don't know. I was the first one in there. Mm -hmm. My sister came afterwards. Mm -hmm. My younger sister that was there last oh, night, she what's came her name? afterwards. Beatrice. Beatrice, okay. She came afterward. I think I know, I know. Mm -hmm. My brother Sam was in it. My brother George wasn't. But his wife would go to all the musicals. We went to Detroit and she went with us. And she passed out. She went the yeah. back the streak. But she was Catholic. The anointing was there and the hitter. And my brother Sam would run out of church. Mm -hmm. I, said, I said, Sam, why you be running out of church? He said, because I know I'm not living right and I don't want the Lord to strike me. Wow. So I said, okay. See, we were born up in the Church of God in Christ. We knew to do right. Yeah. Even if we didn't. But we knew to do right. But we, we really couldn't get off the boat because... Mm -hmm. Our family. We had a close knit family. Yeah, and then like my mom always told me, and like from experience, like when you train up a child, like that conviction hit mm -hmm. hits you. So like when you you know you're doing something wrong, and the mm -hmm. conviction will mm -hmm. hit you. You know. Well, they worked on us. <laughs> Mardell did. <laughs> okay, so your relationship with Reverend Clay Evans. Oh well, he just took with me. You know, I I went there, and when I got there. Few Sundays, he asked me. He said, "Well, since uh, uh well, the man's name I can't really Fred, remember it." Frederick? No, no, no. Uh -uh, I almost had it. Woodrow Wilson. Oh, Woodrow Wilson. He used to sing, "It Is No Secret" every Sunday, what? and he he got to be an alcoholic or oh, something. Yeah. So it's just he, some way or another, he just quit coming because he was doing different things, and then he. Fast. Mm -hmm. So as, when I went there, Reverend Evans asked me, we, he was still living when I went there, but he was having issues with his life. So he asked me what I think. So I told me, yeah. Wow. And you've become really known with that song. Everywhere. So you <laughs> sing it all, all on the broadcast. I sang it for 35 years. Mm -hmm. Well, not 35, because Reverend Jenkins was there one or two of them years. Mm -hmm. I forgot when he came, but anyway. So before we end, I do want to talk about your the um, the the 45 that you did in 1967. <laughs> Tell us as much as you can remember about it. Do you remember who produced it, who asked you to do it, and nope. what studio you did? I know we went somewhere, we didn't get nothing. Was it in Chicago? Yeah, it was in Chicago, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. No, it was out of town. Really? We went out of town, up in some little place up there. I forgot what that was. I may have that record. I do have it somewhere. I don't hmm. know where, though. Wow. <laughs> wow. So, okay, so let's talk about something about God's grace. So when That's did you introduce to that song? Like, At uh, Fellowship? So. I don't know what year. And they just gave it to you? Mm-hmm. That's signature. what they were doing with everything. Mm -hmm. The Loretta can do it. <laughs> I used to come in on everybody singing, you know, like, well, you you saw the one where I, I took over Albertina's song. Yes, yeah, so, uh, well, I got a feeling, with, or if I, if I perish. If I perish.
Burn? Hmm. She just had to. <laughs> if she didn't, somebody did. <laughs> they were falling out of where we So um, we talked about fellowship. We talked about Reverend Milton Bronson, but I don't think we delve too much uh, with Jesse Dixon. And I was with Quinny yesterday, and Pastor Lamont had told me that you actually signed with his mom, Audrey. Lamont, oh, oh yeah, oh uh, uh, Lamont. Lamont, Lamont yes, Lamont. yeah. yeah. She, she was with the Jesse Dixon singers. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. So, do you remember how you met Jesse Dixon? Mm -mm. Was it just like around the city or? It was in the city. Yeah. No, it wasn't no place else. It was mm -hmm. here in the city when he came here to live. Mm -hmm. Did you have to ask your mom for permission to sing with him? I don't think so. Really? Because mm -mm. he was recording, you know, and you mm -hmm. was recording. You was a, you was a star. <laughs> you are a star. Okay. <laughs> no, I didn't have to ask her. She uh, didn't care. She just wanted us to be in the church and mm -hmm. we were in it. Wow. Well, I've had a blast with you. Uh, I'm going to do one more segment, but I want you to look in the camera and just give an encouraging word. Just say something to the people that might be something of encouragement. <laughs> Live for Christ and he'll see you through. On that note, we'll be back. Yes.
All right, Gospel Diaries, I'm back. So I did ask you all uh, a, a while back uh, if you all had any questions that you wanted uh, Sister Loretta to answer. So I picked out a few questions and I'm going to ask her. <laughs> so the first one, uh, someone wants to know, when did you receive the Holy Ghost? When I was a kid. When you was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> one day. <laughs> All right, so that's that question. There's no answer for that. I've been in the church all my life, so I don't have no clue. Okay. <laughs> it was after Elder Duncan's came to Chicago. Mm -hmm. Okay. And matter of fact, that's another question. Someone wants to know who, where, where did the Duncaneers get their name from, and who was Him? that? So it was Reverend Edgar Duncan? Mm -hmm. And was he a pastor? Of, uh, he was so after he, Bishop Roberts passed. And then after he passed, uh, Bishop brother, Roberts, his son. Brother became, okay, okay. All right, so there you go. That's the, where the name <laughs> came from, the Duncan there. Someone wants to know what is missing from gospel music today? Salvation. Uh oh. Because we, we all singing. You know, we just singing because we know the people want to hear us. And half the time, we're not ready. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we be done come from drinking and smoking and whatever, and we come, we try to raise the roof up. Mm -hmm. It ain't happening because we ain't got the soul. Wow. We're lost mm -hmm. until we're found. There you go. All right, so now we wanna, they want to know about the, the, the members of the Duncaneers. So tell us a little bit about Ralph Adams. Well, <laughs> he was a heavy set kid. And as a matter of fact, I found out when his mother passed, before she passed, that she was my godmother, so oh. that was my godbrother. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. My mom told me when she was on her bed of affliction mm -hmm. that uh, she said, Neat, her name was Juanita, Neat, Neat is sick, and so I said, oh, I said, you need to go see her, so I went. And that's when she told me she was my godmother. Oh, wow. So I was shocked, <laughs> you know, whatever. <laughs> All right, uh, Doris Honey Sites. We were raised at Robert's Temple together. Okay. Okay. Her mom. So tell me a little bit about her. Was she was she comical? Um, no. Was no, she, she lively? Or she was was she active or not at that time, but she no. She wanted to be a part of the group. She wanted to be I guess she was her assistant leader. Oh, okay, okay. But I don't know. She just had that kind of spirit. But other than that, she was just like everybody else. All right. Uh, Car what is it? Car uh, Catherine? Is it Catherine? Catherine, Catherine Malloy? Okay. She was a, a, I don't know what you call it, contralto or mm -hmm. what, but she sang very low. But she, we were all members of the church. Okay. And James Hopkins. Now, is there a relation between the Hopkins from uh, New Nazareth? Okay. No, okay. no. He came from Greater Harvest, mm -hmm. and he hooked up with us there, and he, he was jumping the can on. He had a song, Don't Know How Long I'll Be Walking Here, but I want to be welcome. He would walk. Mm -hmm. That's the first time we saw folks wow. walking and carrying on. It's over now. And Bobby Bowling. Bobby oh. was born and raised in the church. His mom brought him there. And he, is, is he from Detroit? Or oh, he went to no. Detroit? I'm thinking about Alfred Bowling. Oh, no. Bobby is for us. I know he was born here. Okay. All right, so I, I answered that. Well, Sister Loretta answered that. So some people want to know about um, hearing the caravan sing back in the 60s. What they want to know? How was it? Was it exciting? <laughs> Did you like their harmony? What are some oh, of the groups that you like? We liked? just thought mm -hmm. they were good. Mm -hmm. We ran to see them when we got a chance. Did you really? Oh, yeah. Wow. The caravan, they were the... The hot group here in Chicago. Wow. Okay. Right. All right, guys. They had a lot of people in there. Gloria Griffin. Mm hmm Oh, uh, it's another lady. Oh, gosh. She's in. She moved out of town. Who, Josephine Howard? Who? Josephine Howard? No. That's another lady. Oh, uh, Gwen Morgan? Mm -mm. Uh, I, I, no, they, they ceased, aren't they? Uh, I think Gwen is still alive. Lo, 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 Loretta, Lo, Loretta. Lorenzo. Oh, Lo, you're not talking about Lorenzo Brown Porter. Right. Oh, no, she never sang with the Caravan. She, she was with the Argo singers. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, Ar oh yeah, yeah, right, right. She was from Argo. Matter of fact, right. I've seen that she actually did a song with um, with Naomi Roberts. She or, or have. with Yeah. I don't know that. Uh, all right, you guys. You all see her. This is the also Love. Yeah. Tell the people bye. <laughs> 
Bye. All right, we'll see you all tonight at your sister's sister Vernon Arnold right. Price's ninety third birthday. birthday. Right. Did you could you, could you see this day from a child? Of course not. We never thought we'd live to be this old. For real? No, I never thought I'd be eighty eight. Wow. No, because when we were coming up, the people with the seniors mm -hmm. they would. Given to 65, okay? Mm -hmm. And at 65, they were fading away. Some of them would last a little bit longer, but they were gone. We passed three score, four score. I'm living. And you're grateful every day. Well, you know it. <laughs> I'm, I'm just like my mother. She says she's not bragging, she's boasting. Come on, somebody. I am. Mm -hmm. I'm here. Mm -hmm. And I don't have to be here. And, you're and not it ain't because. Your age. <laughs> it's not because I'm so good, uh -huh. but it's because God decided. You take a liking to me. Mm -hmm. Keep me here. Mm -hmm. So that's it. All right, you guys. Bye. <laughs> Hello, Gospel Diaries. If you would like to help and support to keep this content going, please follow the instructions on the screen and so into Gospel Diaries so we can continue to bring you this great content. Because I love doing it, but I need your help.